Alright everybody, hello and welcome to a little walkthrough slash tutorial of how to install Meld on a Windows computer. Uh, the reason why I'm making this little tutorial slash walkthrough is because there aren't that many good uh, instructions of how to install Meld on a Windows computer. So, I'm going to go ahead and do it for you guys, so walk through it, let's get started. Alright, so first things first is we are going to install and download download and install Python. So we'll go to python.org, go to our download tab. Uh, we are going to download this Python 2.7.3 Windows installer. This is the uh, this is the 32-bit version that we need. Uh, the reason why we need the 32-bit version is because one of the packages later that we're going to download requires the 32-bit version of uh, the Python interpreter. So this is what we do. All right. So now that this is pretty much downloaded, come on, scanning. All right. So go ahead and open this. Go ahead and run it. All right. We're going to go ahead and install for all users uh, for the Python file. Okay, so here we go. We are going to choose, we're just going to do this uh, default directory almost. For me, it's going to be a little bit different, but we're just going to do this default Python directory. Uh, go ahead and press next. Sure, all that fun stuff. So, all right, install. Please wait a couple minutes. Come on. We don't want to take forever. Oh. Press yes. All right. Go ahead. Copy any files. Blah 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 blah. All right. Come on. Any day now. All right. Cool. We got that installed. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and add Python to our environment variables to our path on our computer. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and go to the bottom left right here. Go to Start. Right click your computer. Uh, go to Properties. Then we're going to go ahead and click this advanced system settings. Uh, we're going to go to the advanced tab, then click on environment variables. And then we are going to go down here to our path and click on edit. So now we are going to go to the very front of this and we are going to type in the path that we just installed that Python directory. So for me, it was the Z directory and then Python. Two seven, then another slash, and then then add a semicolon. Do not forget the semicolon; very important. So we're gonna go ahead and press OK, and boom, we're good. All right, everything's good. All right, OK. We're gonna press OK again. All right, cool. So now let's go ahead and check and see if we actually did that correctly. So let's go ahead and open a command prompt. So just go start, type in CMD, click the first thing. All right, so to test and see if everything was, if uh, Python was installed correctly, let's go ahead and just type in Python. And boom, and here we go. We can see that it has opened the interpreter. If it didn't install correctly, uh, what the command prompt would then say is uh, Python is not a proper command or something along those lines, all right? But we see that we're in the Python 2.7.3 and it all worked, all right? So let's just go ahead and quit out of that. Uh, all right. Oh, geez, control Z then, fine. And then plus return, all right, so we exit out of that. No, we just could have closed it, whatever. Anyways, so now we need to go ahead and install the Python GTK all-in-one library. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and open another tab. I'm going to go to HTTP uh, ftp.gnome.org. All right. And don't worry, I'm going to be putting all these links in the description down below and all the steps of how to do it again. So if, you, if you're not even watching this video and you just and you're just reading the text, by all means, whatever. But anyways, so we are going to go down to this public directory. I'm going to go into this capitalized uh, GNOME. Uh, then we are going to go into binaries, Windows 32. And we're going to scroll on down to this Python GTK. And we are going to go into this 2.24 version. All right, so now we got a whole bunch of files we got going on. And the version that we want is this uh, Python GTK all-in-one 2.24.2 Windows 32 
Python 2.7. The reason why we want this is that we installed Python 2.7 and of course we just want the latest version of it. So say for example you just downloaded Python uh, version 2.6, you would then download this version, the Windows 32 Python 2.6. But since I literally just downloaded, downloaded Python 2.7, we're going to go ahead and download this. So we're going to go ahead and click on it, we're going to let it do its thing. It's going to take a while, so I might cut this audio out. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. Alright, so now that we have that all downloaded, let's go ahead and start installing this. Go ahead and press run. Go ahead and do uh, version 2. Yep, yep, next. Sure. Uh, yep, it, see, look, it uh, was self aware and found our uh, Python directory. So if we're going to go ahead and press next and install. And let's go. Status is blank. Oh, no. Validating installation, blah blah blah, blah blah blah, stuff nobody cares about. Updating the registration, whatever. Let's go. Come on. Any day now, we're almost there. Dun, 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 dun. Come on. Almost there. Okay, boom, cool. Finish to exit setup wizard. Alright, cool. So we're good. Alright, so now let's go ahead and test to see if that actually installed. So we're going to go ahead and open another command prompt. We are now going to go ahead into our Python interpreter again. So go ahead and type in Python. So if, again, you should be in the Python interpreter now if everything was good so far. So now we are going to type in import GTK. So we'll go ahead Type that in. Give it a give it a minute. See if everything works. Um, okay. Since it didn't throw an error, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that it worked. All right. So if it didn't work, it should give an error of something like no module named GTK. And if you got that, go ahead and try to download it again. Make sure it recognized your Python directory and everything. So. Alright, so we have that. We imported the GTK. Alright, so now we are going to go ahead and actually download Meld. Finally. Alright, so we're actually going to just use the same website right here. We're going to go back a couple directories. We're going to go to this uh, capitalized GNOME directory. Uh, this time we are going to go to Sources. And we're going to scroll all the way down here and find Meld. Meld. All right. And for our purposes, we are going to download version 1.5 because I know 1.5 actually works for this. So uh, you can try 1.6, maybe get to work. It should probably work. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I know 1.5 works, so we're just going to do that. So we're going to go uh, go uh, go ahead and download this meld 1.5.4 tar.xc. Okay. So now that we have that, I'm going to go ahead and open it. And uh, all right, so now that we have that going on, we're gonna go ahead and extract this. Uh, just go ahead, yeah, to the, our uh, downloads folder. And oh, FYI, to open this uh, tar.exe on Windows, you're gonna have to get a program like uh, 7-zip. That's just what I got going on. So, so yeah. Uh, okay, that probably already extracted while I was waiting, so we extracted that to our downloads uh, meld. Alright, here we go. Cool. Got Now have a WinZip file, so whoop de do. Uh, oh, not a WinZip, uh, it's a .tar, so okay. Or whatever we got going on. So now what we are going to do is go ahead and extract this. What am I looking for? What am I looking for? Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Unzip. Unzip? Yeah. We'll just go ahead and unzip these. To a folder. We're just going to go ahead and do a simple folder, simple directory. Go ahead and create a new folder. We're just going to call it meld. Uh, go ahead and do that. And we are going to extract it into. Uh, oh man, I'm dumb. Okay, 
Hold on, stop. I'm missing something here. What am I missing? I am missing something. Oh, jeez. I feel like a loser right now. Okay, let's go ahead. I'll just select them all. Extract. Oh, my God. Okay. So, now that we have that, now we're going to go ahead to that uh, simple directory. Go ahead. Do. Uh, I'm just doing my Z drive. You probably would be doing your C drive, but I'm doing my Z just to be a little extra complicated. But, anyways, new folder. We're going to go ahead and create a new one called Meld. Whoops. Already exists. Oh, that's because it's. Oh, yep, it's right there. Okay, so we are going to unzip into that meld folder. Alright, and we have this meld 1.5.4. So, cool. Now that we have that, we have that. Alright, there we go. That should be everything. Okay, so what we're going to need, we're going to actually go into this and look real quickly. Oh, I'm do believe Ben Mel? Okay, we're gonna be wanting that. So first things first, uh, let's go ahead and go into another command prompt, and we are going to cd to this bin directory. So we are going to go ahead and cd uh, z drive. Uh, we are then going to go into meld. That's the folder that we just created, and then this is the meld. Whoops, not mmeld. Meld dash. 1.5.4 4 and let's see if that works oh no come on oh shit how come I can't cd into a z drive cd melt why can't I cd into a In here, people. I'm missing CD. Z. Z. CD. Z. CD. something here. I'm missing Google. Um, CD. Different drive. I'm going to go ahead and uh, this is a little, this is a little, it's a little annoying. Alright, let me just go ahead and read this. Sometimes I should uh, Okay, okay, now that I found this. Alright, so, sorry about that little break, break guys, but we are actually going to do CD, and since I'm on a different drive, I gotta do that little slash D thing going on, and we are going to go Z slash meld dash uh, meld dash 1.5.4. See if that worked. Boom, okay, cool, we're good. Alright, so now that we did that, we're going to uh, CD dash, uh, we want to go into that bin folder, and, uh, the bin folder, uh, oh, da, da, oh, cd, oh, gosh, I feel like such a loser, cd bin, okay, so now we are inside this bin folder, and what we want to now, oh, my gosh, I feel, I feel like an idiot, we actually want to go cd bat one, okay, we just want to do this CD meld 1.5.4. All right. Oh, sorry, this tutorial, you guys. Anyways, so now what we want to do is Python bin slash meld, and what we should do, it should, yep, it should say combine the translation domain, and here we go. We have meld. It works. Cool. What we do? Just start a new comparison. Go to browse, browse to whatever file you want to do then browse to a different version of that same file, and boom, 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 it sh it'll show, it'll do its magic. That's what Meld is for, all right, cool. So, that's pretty much how it is, simple as that. So, 
Let's say though, let's take another step forward. Let's say we all, we don't always want to open the stupid command prompt, blah blah blah, and get to this. Uh, type in the CD. Go to the go to the directory. Then type in Python bin slash mail. Blah blah blah. So to do that, let's go ahead and create a little shortcut. So let's go ahead and open a Notepad file. What we are going to do is pretty much just type those commands that we did on this uh, command window into this notepad. So for me, it would be cd uh, cd slash d. This is in my case the slash d. I googled this real quick, guys. So it's just to change the directory or to change the drive. So cd this z slash meld slash meld dash 1.5.4 all right cool and then for the next line now that we have that we just go ahead go ahead and type python bin slash meld and there we go we'll go ahead and file save as go ahead uh, we're, we're just going to go ahead and name this as meld dot bat and then for the save as type, we're, we want to go to all files. And then we'll go ahead and save this file wherever you want. I'm just going to go ahead and go to this desktop shortcuts folder I got, whatever. Go ahead and save that. All right. So now that we have that, go ahead and close that, close that, close that, minimize that. All right. We have all this. So let's go ahead and see if that shortcut that we just created works. Go to desktop shortcuts find our meld.bat right here so it's a windows batch file so go ahead and double click on that boom everything works and here we go simple as that so hopefully this little walkthrough worked for you helped you out i i hope it i hope it did because man we ran into problems for me but hey that's the reason why i did this in case you had problems too you can see what i ran into you can see what your you'll you might run into also so there we go simple as that simple quote quote uh anyway so yeah if you guys have any questions go ahead rewatch the video make sure you follow what i do in the correct steps of course you want don't want to do these little stupid mistakes i did but yeah if you have any questions then after that still go ahead and leave a comment below and whatnot i'll try to answer them see if i can fix your problems who knows uh, but yeah, go ahead and uh, leave a like, favorite if you want, you don't have to, you can do whatever, go ahead and subscribe, you don't have to, do whatever you feel like, it helps, it helps me, I like it when you guys subscribe, but yeah, anyways, that's it, hope you guys have a good day, enjoy your newly installed meld on Windows, peace.